Hey everyone, my name is Betty Spencer, and I'm the owner and creator of Shore Life Creations. I hope you're having a great day. We are going to create a summer wreath today. So, you know, if I can get it to work so I can see comments, would be nice also. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Because I would love to see comments. If anybody pops on, if you would please show the love so I can build this back up again. Get some more people to show up. That would be awesome. I would appreciate it. Make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you know when I go live again. My buddy Debbie just reminded me of that because I would never have remembered. We are going to work on a summer wreath. A new sign that I just came out with. If y'all don't know me, I'm a sign maker. I also make wreaths. I started out making wreaths. And then I evolved into making signs for you, Reese. So, now I do both. So, we're going to be using one of my signs to make a wreath today. And this is the sign. It's new in my shop. Shore Life Creations on Etsy. And this is so cute. This is the sign we're going to be using today. I didn't turn my light on. I forgot, but I think it's bright enough in here. I don't think we need it. It makes it hot when I do. I also want to show you some new wreath attachments that I've made. Because I don't think pictures do them justice. So, in the middle, I'll stop after we get some more people in here. And show you some of the attachments that I've come up with. They're wood, so that you get an idea of the size and what they look like. If y'all need more light, let me know. I'll turn the ring light on. Just say so, if you think we need some more light. But we can get started. I already pre-cut what we need to start with this wreath, so it won't take so long. We are using some border mesh and some fabric mesh. We're using two different colors. The border mesh is red with white stripe. I'm going to zoom in, hopefully. And if I need to direct the camera down, I will. And then we're using the green, lime green and white fabric mesh. And we are going to ruffle together. I cut them at 20 inches. And we are going to ruffle them up at the same time. And add them to each twist on a wreath form. So let's get started. Just ruffle. like so you can see this ruffle and I'm going to add to each twist tie this is just a white wreath form and I just picked the colors out of the sign to pick my mesh which is lime green and red. There's also pink in it. So we will be putting some pink in the sign, believe it or not. Just give it a couple of twists. We're gonna take our ruffles and separate them. 
so that you can see all the colors. And I just scrape my knuckle on that twist. I'm a little out of practice. I feel like I'm a lot out of practice here lately. And you will see as we go along how that how that looks. I'm setting this on my trash can just to give me a little more room. As we do the next one, I'm going to change it up and put the red on top and the green on the bottom. So we don't have so much of each one. Each color. Change it up. Change it up a little bit. Ruffle it up. Might need to direct my camera down a little bit more. Go to the next twist tie. Just give it a twist. Separate your mesh. I feel like a brand new babe starting out. Since I lost all my peeps, everybody, I've been gone for so long. I will be adding a text messaging service. I'll be setting that up. So be look on the lookout for that. And we're going to be doing the same thing, adding it all the way around. Every other one, we're changing the colors out. It's going to make for a nice, big, full wreath. We're going to leave the green on top this time. Let me direct my camera down a little bit more. Because you don't need to see me. Oh. I see. I think I lost a couple of my tails down there. I might have where they fell and I thought I didn't cut enough. So now I probably have a couple too many. That might help me see a little better. Working all the bugs out, guys. Working all the bugs out. Ruffle. 20 inches is what I cut each one of these. And I cut these two at the same time. Just cut them, roll them out and cut them at the same time. And at 20 inches, it perfectly uses one of each color, 10 inch roll of mesh. So you have no waste, which makes it perfect. And you don't have to start another roll. So that makes it nice. Nobody wants to start another roll just for a couple of cuts. So that one had green on top, so we want red on top this time.
I will be uploading this video to YouTube when I get done. Let's check out my YouTube channel as well. If you're interested in any of my songs, Shore Life Creations on Etsy. I have lots of signs and wreath attachments. And this wreath will also be listed in my Etsy shop when I get done with it. If you're interested for in a cute summer wreath, for your door. So be sure and check it out. If you like this video while you're watching it, please take a second, show the love, share it to your page. I would appreciate it. It's what helps us get out there all right and that one had red on top I believe so we're going back to green on top Benevit, you're awful quiet out there. Did you click the notification? I'm telling you. Oh Lord, I almost knocked all my mesh in the floor. Cut my tag off. I was sitting here talking to myself. You know, it's lonely when you sit here and talk to yourself. Now this, this one little twist tie wants to be floppy flippy. So I'm going to need to take, and that happens with some of your wreath forms. So I need a zip tie. And guys, let me tell you, wreath forms are hard to come by here lately. So I'm going to take a zip tie and tighten them down if I can get them in there. Yeah, when you messaged me, I was already live. About the notifications. So whenever you've got a floppy, a floppy, whatever you want to call it, just zip tie it down and get my wire cutters and cut that 
cut that down. I thought you were lurking out there somewhere. I figured you were already here. And I was just talking to myself. That's got that tight now. No, I was already live. I figured you were just lurking. Okay. Spread me around. I appreciate it. Let me see if I can pin that. If it'll let me. No. It doesn't give me the option to pin it. I wonder why. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it will. Let me see. There it is. Pin. Okay. It let me pin the... Okay. I got it pinned. All right, we're going back to red on top. Yes, I am ruffling up 20 inch cuts, two mesh at a time, and then I alternate the colors on the top, and then separate them, spread them out after you put them in the, in the twist tie. So that you can see them better. Spread them out. One's a border mesh, one's a fabric mesh. But it really makes for a full wreath. It gives it that powy look. Got that? Powy. That's a new word. No, I didn't come up with the idea. It's not my idea. Now we're going to do green on top. I like fabric mesh. I like border mesh. So it's two of my favorites. Together. Not my idea. I don't claim it. Actually, I think I saw Lori from Hard Working Mom do it. So I liked it. I don't claim it as mine. You know, I don't have the brain cells for an original idea.
But it's cute. And a cute. And a cute. I like to. <laughs> Powie. I know. Powie. Cute idea, huh? Cute, cute. All right, what was that last one? Green, green on top. We got to do red on top. This somebody, I don't know who came up with it. She might have come up with it. Somebody else did. Who knows? But hey, we share so we can all do it. That's what it's all about. It's all about coming up with these ideas so we can all, we can all do it. Thank you, babe. Yeah, I cut all my hair off. Actually, it's kind of flat today, but it is what it is. I decided life's too short to worry about being frou-frou. Yep, the weight's coming off. I have a feeling I'll probably lose some more. And that's not a bad thing. And you say that as soon as you said it, my stomach growled. I feel like I'm on the go, go, go all the time. But I don't mind. My body tells me when it's time to slow down. And I listen to it. That was red on the inside, so we're going green on, I mean on the outside, so we're going green on the outside this time. Short is good. Short is good. I was telling everybody at the Mastermind last week, you know, long looks good on some people. You know, it's very pretty. Everybody I know that has long hair, which also includes my daughter, where is it pulled up? In a bun, in a ponytail, in a messy bun. So what good is it to have long hair if you're going to pull it up? And then they t proceed to tell me, well, I don't look good with short hair. Well, what is a bun if that's not short hair? If you don't look good in short hair, then what? what is it in a bun? It's short. It's no hair. It's pulled up. You don't have any hair. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. It's not having any hair when you pull it up. So are you telling me you pull it up and you don't look good? I don't understand. I don't understand that comment. That's funny. I just found it funny. I don't look good in short hair. So you pull it up and you don't think you look good. But it's hot when it's down. Okay. And your point would be. My daughter comes by here because she can pull it up in a messy ponytail or whatever. But then it gets loose and she doesn't like it when it's loose. And then she comes by here and wants me to braid it for her. Pull it back, mom, and braid it for me. Rachel, what are you going to do when I have arthritis in my hands and I can't braid your hair for you? You're 25 years old. Girlfriend. Really? Oh, we have some people watching. Hey, everyone. 
Come on in. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Let me know what you think of this wreath. We are doing a double ruffle. I don't, I'm making the name up because I don't even know if it has a name. A double ruffle wreath. Say that four times real fast. A double ruffle wreath. This is what we've done so far. It's the outside ring. Try not to let my mesh get in the glue pot. <coughs> and the sign is going to go on it. Double mesh powie. There you go. We're getting ready to start on the inside ring. We are using 10 inch mesh. We cut the mesh at 20 inches, which makes it very nice because you use two rolls exactly. You have no leftovers, you have just enough, so you don't have to go into another roll. Makes it perfect. Let's start on the inside of our wreath. We cut both rolls at the same time. We rolled it out 20 inches and cut. And then we put it out and we ruffle it up together. Double ruffle. Double ruffle. Yeah, we do. But this does not leave any leftover. So, you don't have that. Now, I'm going to try and put this, since green is your top color, I'm going to try and put it right above a red. So, you have it contrasting. As best I can. I mean, I'm not going to be anal about it, but I'm trying to do my colors. Then you separate them so that you can see the top and the bottom color. You're going to have a nice, big, fluffy wreath. That's the mission. That is what our mission is. Now we want red on the top, so you're going to separate them. And put your red on the top this time. We're not getting anybody socializing today, Deb. Nobody wants to talk. Is everybody thinking it's Taco Tuesday and nobody wants to talk? This is when the fullness really happens because, you know, we've got all that bottom going on and now you're really going to start packing on the, packing on the mesh. Packing on the mesh. Oh, it is lunchtime, isn't it? Eastern time. The weather is beautiful here. Beautiful.
let go. I really need to get my table set back up for lives. All right, we had red on top, so we need green on top this time. Rena, my buddy, thank you for coming in and talking. I know you're not a... Deb, Rena is one of my sublimation buddies. She's not a... She's not a wreath person or a sign person. She's a... She's a... What do I want to say? A, a mug person or a... She's one of my sublimation buddies. Rena, I finally got myself to go back live. It's been a while. So I had to push myself to get back out there. What time is it where you are, Rena? It's not lunchtime for you yet. You got to be still working. Breakfast time. I don't know about Rena, whether she's eating or not. She's supposed to be doing keto, but we won't talk about that. That's something we have to talk about tonight. All right, that was green on top. We're doing red on top this time. Still coffee time. <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> well, I can't do keto right now either, so we'll have to join the same club. I'm not too sure that keto wasn't part of my problem. I'm halfway scared to go back to it when I get straight. I don't know if some of that stuff that's in what and some of those keto products wouldn't what started all this mess. Yeah, mesh is grabby. It's grabbing everything. Because I'm not rolling the edges in with this scrunch. Usually I roll the edges in, but not with this ruffle. This ruffle, you don't roll the edges in. Some of those things in the keto, some of those keto products, I'm not too sure, weren't what started this whole fiasco. Green this time. I don't think y'all can see me on the trash can, but it was right here. I'll bring it up in a minute. It's easier than it grabbing everything. Thank you. I got it last week in my mastermind. It's got forgot. You have to tell me. I think it's got turtles or something on the back. When the designs are on the back, I forget. Down in Kitty Hawk. Oh, I saw that. I've seen Katie do it. The decoupage with the fire. On metal and they do it on wood too. Um, I've seen a lot of them. Teen do it and um, yeah, the flower that Katie did the other night was adorable. 
I love that napkin that she used. That was cute as it could be. Yeah, it's turtles. I like the sea turtles. You know, I'm kind of, you know how I am about the coastal stuff, guys. And we went down to Kitty Hawk and I went into the Forbes Taffy place. They had all kinds of cute t shirts. I got this one, I got a couple for my daughter. I got a couple for myself. You know I did. Because, you know. It is what it is. I can't help it. All right, we're down to two, but it's really filling up, guys. I'm telling you, it makes her a really big, fluffy wreath. We got two more, and that's before we even put the tails and stuff on it. What was that last one? Red on top. No, I didn't get taffy. Tess got taffy. I didn't get taffy. We have here where I live, you know, just north of us in um, Maryland, Ocean City, you know, they do saltwater taffy here, but I didn't, so I didn't get taffy. She's not used to that. She's from Texas, so she got saltwater taffy. That's not something that's new to me. Remember, I live, I live close to the beach. I'm a beach kind of girl. One more tie. Ta-da. Oops. Get back over there. Oh, well, you didn't tell me you love taffy. I'd have gotten you some taffy. You gotta tell me these things. Taffy is pure sugar. You know that, don't you? Sugar's good. Yes, yeah, sugar is good. I know that. They had fudge. And you know, I'm a chocoholic, but I didn't get any fudge either. That was good. All right. Mesh complete. That is what you call a full wreath. Big and full. Now, for our tails, I cut my tails for this at 14 inches. I got this and I cut this <coughs> and I cut this polka dot. So we're going to alternate. Gonna alternate between this and this and this and this. Yeah, I know it's gonna keep grabbing everything because that's what mesh does.
this is what mesh does. I do not open my ties. I just add it to the ties. And it's going to grab this polka dot. I know. I'll get it. When it comes around, stuck to the wreath. Don't worry. And I cut these by hand because I couldn't find my ribbon tail board. So I'll probably have to adjust some of them. You put it in the OSLC group. I don't even know if anybody still goes in there. I have I don't have any control in there that's why I can't keep that group going because I'm not admin in there anymore so oops come back here just don't want it to go in the glue pot It's going to be a gorgeous wreath. It really is. And it will be listed in my Etsy shop when I get finished. If anybody's interested, if you're watching the replay, check out my Etsy shop. The link is pinned at the bottom of the live. If you're interested in the sign, Hey, Susan, I'm glad you found me. It's been just me and a couple of gals here chit-chatting. Working on this strawberry gnome wreath. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I got to, I haven't done a live in so long. I got to build things back up, get things rolling again. I knew that was going to happen, but it is what it is. You know, you got to start things over from scratch, and that's how it goes. I know. Well,. I know. I gotta start a new um, text messaging service. I got my number. I just gotta get it set up. So if I'll get that going and then I can send out a text message when I go live. That kind of thing. I'll get there. I'll get all the things, get all the things, all the new toys and things straight up here eventually. I'm just not as fast as all the others. It takes me a little while. It 
takes me a long while. Yeah, I'll get it. I got my number. I just got to get it set up. I couldn't get it set up, and somebody had to help me last week. And I just need to get that stuff initiated now. And I'll get it on my business page, and anybody that wants to sign up for it can. No pressure. Because, you know, I don't like to send out a bunch of bunch of emails and a bunch of stuff like that. <coughs> but I like to let people know if they want to know when I'm live or want to have new stuff out. Anything they might be interested in. Um... I don't, do I have enough? I probably do, Deb. It just doesn't work yet. But I have the number written down. It's just not going to be hooked up yet to work. One more for the bottom. Of course, you know, two of them are side by side that are the same. But that always happens because it's an odd number on the outside. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> Good Lord, now you're rushing me. I'm trying to get all the things done, Deb. Good Lord. You don't think I want to get them all done? My son is coming home Thursday with his wife, and I haven't seen them in a year, almost. I'm trying to get everything done. You know? I'm trying. All right, now I'm going to have to stand up do the top side because his wreath has gotten so fat. Mm. I'm trying, Deb. I'm trying. You didn't notice that I'm not wearing my glasses anymore, Deb. Hmm. We're back down to two people again. They come, they go, they leave. You did notice it. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that.
And now you can't see because I stood up. We're getting close to the end of the ribbon tails, people. Peoples. Yeah, I had that done before I went away. Had my manny done. But I usually have that done anyway. I keep that done. That's my, have my mani done is my self-care mani petty. I think everybody deserves that. Everybody deserves a little self-care. My, uh, the girl that cleans house for me is due. I'm waiting for her to come busting in the door because she doesn't know I'm live. Oops, that's the wrong one. I used the wrong one. She's coming to wash the windows today. That's another thing I did for myself. When my business started Becoming profitable. Was to get some money to help with the house cleaning. So that I could focus more on my business. So she comes once a week for a couple hours, does the bathrooms, the things I don't like to do. So this week she's doing the windows. Another thing I don't like to do that needs doing. Okay, ribbon tails are all on, and I said my ribbon tails are at 14 inches, and I do that because I like for my mesh to show. Some people like 
three tails. They like longer tails. They like more two and a half inch ribbon because they cover up their mesh. And that's fine. I mean, it's all personal preference, people. There is no right or wrong. Don't let people tell you that that's not right. That's not the right way. Again, personal preference. I like the border mesh. I like to see my border mesh. It's all in what you like. Some people like to see their mesh. Some people don't like to see their mesh. If you're using value mesh, you might not want to see your mesh. Cover it up. This is not value mesh. This is higher end mesh. So I like to see it. Now, my sign is going to go in the middle. I want a bow on here. It may, I may put my sign off to the side and put a nice big bow here. So it's, everything looks kind of What do I want to say? More symmetrical. So let's think about if I put my sign here, I need a hole here and a hole here, and then I need a bow here. So let's do a bow. Let's do our bow next. Then we will snuggle our sign into the bow. So. Let's put, let's move these out of the way. These are the wooden wreath attachments I want to show you before we sign off. Let's hang our wreath over here. To get it out of the way. Put that right there. <coughs> Let's get out our easy bow maker. and figure out what we're going to use. Now, remember, we're going to pick from our sign. Let's zoom in here. Let's bring our camera down some more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we used this ribbon in our wreath. We used this ribbon in our wreath. But I think I'm going to bring in some of this because it's in the background of our sign. And see what we come up with. We might throw in a loop of this, since that was in our wreath. Let's see what we come up with. My good scissors disappeared. Hope I didn't throw those in the trash. All right, let's see. I don't have much on this roll. Well, I got some more. So let's start off with this in the back. I think it's going to kind of get lost. 
with all the busyness going on on the wreath itself. I might even throw some of this in the background just for the heck of it. Let's just see what we come up with. I'm going to start with a six inch loop. I'll just use the rest of that. Since that's all there is on that roll, we'll just leave it like that. Hold on a minute. I thought I heard a door shut. <sighs> yep. It's my girl over there. So we'll just leave that as our background. And then we'll put this one on top of it. might help it pop out a little more. Um, crafters convention. And what is that? When is that? September. Um, then I have another event that's a sublimation event the week after in September. I think that's it. I think that's it. that I'm aware of at the moment. Now let's throw some of this pink in there. Oh no, you're thinking, ooh, red, pink. But the background of the sign has this in there. So we are going to tie it in. No, I'm not going to Reef Maker's Live. No. They're only allowed, actually, 400 people to attend, I believe, is what I was told. The rest are going to have to sell virtual tickets for the event. It's going to be epic. I got the inside scoop on a lot of stuff that's going to be going on. So anybody that's going, I'm just saying. It is going to be epic. So if you get to go, you're going to have a blast. All right. 
I think that is going to be enough. Now I need one of these. Use my zip ties. Fluff it out some before I crank it down. pipe cleaner Okay. Let's get a refill. Get him a bow tie on. Now, let's see about snuggling the sign in. I use a jewelry hole punch, Amazon. I can post a link when I get off. And I put, I'm going to put a hole in the bottom. Makes a little tiny hole. You don't even see it. 
Can you see that? I'll show you the back. I don't even know if you can see it. And then I put a little tiny hole at the top. I don't even think you can see that one either. Then I get a piece of floral wire. If I can find it. That's another question. Let me look for my floral wire. Didn't get that out. One of the things I didn't get out beforehand. <coughs> You should actually get silver paddle wire. You can get it from, I think Michael's has it. Um, probably order it off of Amazon. I'm not sure. Is it in my little box over here? I have my green paddle wire. This is paddle wire, floral wire. I'm just going to use my green and put it through your holes to attach your sign. Silver just does, you know, seems to hide. Green will hide too. Whatever you can find, your paddle wire. They just, I call it paddle wire because it's on a paddle on your little on the little paddle thing here and put it through your hole and here's your little hole in your in your sign I put it in the hole the hole so small the wire goes right in I put it through the top give it a little I put it around to the back and give it a little twist I'm going to snuggle it up to the, to the bow, put my wire through my mesh so it stays on top, it goes right through the mesh, put this wire through the mesh, you don't go in between you go right through the holes of the mesh and go on either side of one of the rails back there at least I'm trying to There it is. And just twist it. Twist it down. Do the same thing on the bottom. And your sign's nice and secure. Let's see if it's written on the paddle here. I'll check for you what gauge it is. Um, this one's 22. 22 gauge. And I do the same thing on the bottom. Through the hole.
then I wrap it down and then go around to the back and twist it once and then go through your mesh So you poke your sit finger, because that's probably what you're going to do, till you feel it. I mean, just being honest, I'm going to poke it down there until you poke your finger. And then twist it around one of the bars. And give it a good twist so your sign's nice and secure. Now, normally, you would say, ta-da, I'm all done. But I'm not quite done. Because I got to do a little extra. Because I'm kind of like that. I'm a little extra. I like to be a little extra. Oops. My mesh grabbed my ribbon. Hold on. Let's redirect the camera a little bit. Hold on just a second so we can see the reflex as it is. I'm going to knock everything off. Knock everything over. So I can bring my easel over here. Okay. Now. We're going to need to. Let me turn so I can see how to. Redirect the camera. I had one of those automated things so that we could redirect without having to move, move everything myself. That would be nice. But I don't. I have to do it myself. Now, for me, this is how I like to design. Because I can see much better what I'm doing. And what it looks like. I like to stand up and look at what's going on. Zoom, please, she says. Okay. All right, we're going to zoom, and I'm going to turn it. And now, I want you to get a look at it. Can you see it now, Beth? Oh. 
Oops. Now I'm knocking everything over. All right. Now we've got a big, a nice big, full wreath, right? But now we're going to add some pretty daisies. Don't you think you need some daisies? I do. I think it needs some daisies. Because I just love flowers. I like flowers. Now you have to make sure that you find a really good place for these to grab a hold to. But I always find that adding some greenery and flowers just gives it that extra little something something punch. You know, make sure you wiggle it in there good so it grabs good. I always do where it's a twist tie, so it's got some something good to grab. And it just gives it that little something extra. Because, you know, we all like that little something extra. And the sign has these little daisies in it. Let's see if I have any more of those little tiny daisies. I know I must, because, you know, I have to. I just have to.
All right, guys. <clears throat> I think that we pretty much got a home run. I think this girl name is ready to find a home. What do you guys think? I appreciate you guys that were out there popping in and popping out, coming in to see what we were doing. I appreciate it. Deb, I appreciate all your help. I hope everybody has a great day. Come back and see me. I'll be on hopefully more often. We'll be, oh, I wanted to show y'all some wood attachments. I almost forgot. I wanted y'all to check these out. Hold on. I got quite a few. I got lots. So let's roll through real quick. These are all made of MDF. Let's turn this light down a little bit. There's going to be a lot of glare. I don't want all that glare. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. These are all MDF hardwood. And I want you to see what I got. Now, sunflower. How cute is that? Patriotic. And that cute's 12 inches. Could you see that in the middle of a wreath? How cute would that be in the middle of a wreath? Also, red, white, and blue. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. We have a rustic brown. Hope. Says, hope anchors the soul. And then we have one with flowers. There's also another one. I don't have it done because I sold it and it is mm, 12 inches. Cute. MDF wood. We have a mermaid tail. It comes in two sizes. This is adorable. See that on a wreath? Really cute on a wreath. We have a heart shaped Softball, baseball, all wood, MDF. Bumblebee, camper. Adorb. Dogs welcome peeper, people tolerated. Coming up for fall, we have Scarecrow. Just be kind. No longer by my side, forever in my heart. Precious, the saying. The cow face. Now, this is adorable. It's a little more expensive, but it's a really big piece. I mean, it's a really big piece. It's bigger than this sign, actually. It's really big, but it is adorable. I have chickens. This is not posted yet, but it's going to be soon. Turkey, give thanks. Adorable. The mason jar, cotton picking blessed. It is a big size. Cute, cute, cute. 
Welcome has candy in the jar. Add the big dolphin. It says welcome. It is big. For Father's Day, how cute. A hammer, a saw. Message me, they can be personalized if you message me. Oh, here's the other anchor. This one's very popular. Two sizes, one smaller. This just got posted yes yesterday or the day before. The mum. It's 12 inches. Same as the sign that's in the middle. Really cute. And this is the other cow face that just got listed the other day. Really cute. And I'm sure there's some more stuff. But guys, these wood attachments are just, I mean, they're different. But they are just so cute. The camper. I love glamping. The wood attachments. Be kind with the bee, the bumblebee. But that's it for the moment that I have to show you. Again, I appreciate you guys coming by. Watch the replay. Check out Shore Life Creations on Etsy. Be good to yourself. Do something nice for yourself. But do nice things for others. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Have a great day.